Hi, this is Janice from Space to Relax and the video you're about to watch is a replay of a live class I taught on Zoom. These classes are free of charge for everyone to join, so please invite your family and friends. They're suitable for beginners and those of you with more Qigong experience. If you're watching this video on YouTube, then please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I hope you enjoy the class. Hi everyone and you're very welcome to today's Qigong class and what I'm going to show you today is how you can use some Qigong exercises in order to help you with healthy digestive function and most particularly constipation because I think for all of us at one time or another we may have suffered from constipation and even if you have never suffered with it then these exercises will be really great for you to keep it that way and to keep your digestive system operating in a smooth and balanced way. So constipation is often associated with a number of different causes, namely the type of food we eat, certain medications that we may be uh, prescribed. Also, rushing around and eating on the run is not great for your digestive system. The other causes would be things like too much stress and also not enough exercise. So there are a number of contributing factors as to why at one time or another, we may feel constipated. So the objective of the exercises today are to firstly, encourage your chi to flow smoothly and in an unobstructed way. And that's the general objective of all Qigong. But this is more specifically towards really creating the conditions whereby that smooth flow of qi can occur throughout the organ systems which control digestion, namely the spleen, the stomach, the liver, and the small and large intestines. So we'll be focusing more around the flow through those the channels of the qi channels of those uh, organ systems. The second objective is from by or by physical movement really to encourage muscular contraction and what's called peristalsis in the digestive system. So by doing certain movements, we can encourage our muscles to contract in a way that they are able to expel waste from our bodies. So I would encourage you to practice either one or all of these exercises in sequence. Maybe find the ones that play around with it and find the ones which work for you. And I've divided this class into two separate sections. So in the first half, we're going to be working with more massage and breathing exercises in order to help relieve constipation. And in the second half, we're going to look at a couple of movements which will help to do that as well. So you can begin from a standing position, ideally. If you find that you might need to sit down halfway through the class today, then just have a chair to hand and you can sit down whenever you feel you get tired. So beginning by looking down at your feet and checking that they're around hip width distance apart. The feet are parallel, so the toes are pointing towards the front. The knees are kind of stacked on top of the feet there, so also parallel. So as you look down from your hips to your knees to your feet, you should have two parallel lines like train tracks. So just check that. And check also that there's a little bend in the knees and you feel nice and balanced. You feel really well grounded and you can feel the contact of the soles of your feet with the floor or the ground. Maybe just moving forwards rocking and backwards just to feel into the weight distribution between the balls of the feet and your heels and then find a middle point where you feel like you're not leaning too far forwards and the weight is not too far back onto your heels and now just checking that the tailbone is tucked under so tucking the pelvis under and just lifting very slightly in the lower abdomen area, feeling that lovely extension in the lower back as you do this. And then just checking the shoulders are really relaxed by giving your arms a little shake out, making sure the shoulders are far away from your earlobes. Thinking of the shoulder blades moving down the back of the body towards the waist. 
and checking that there's length in the back of the neck by tucking your chin back towards your throat. So I'm thinking of moving my chin back towards the wall behind me, just drawing it in. And as I do that, also feeling this lovely extension of the back of the head and the neck. And now relaxing, smiling, the mouth is closed, closing the eyes now. Your tongue is resting on the roof of the mouth with the tip of the tongue resting against the back of the upper teeth. Breathing in and out through the nose. As you breathe in, feel the belly expand. And as you breathe out, feeling the belly shrinking. So beginning with these few abdominal breaths in order to settle into your practice, to calm your mind, to relax your body, and to bring yourself into what's called the Qigong state in order to prepare yourself for the rest of your practice. And now gently opening your eyes so you can see me. So we're going to begin with a gentle massage exercise. So I'd like you to place one hand just above the belly button on the abdomen, the other hand directly on top of that. And just bringing your mind to the heel of your hand, of the lower hand, so this part here. So this is the part you're going to be focusing on. And we're going to massage the abdominal area. And what we want to do is to work with the descending colon, the descending bowel, which runs down the left hand side of your body. And so we're going to move, we're going to move our hands down the left hand side and then come around in circles, but really focusing on that down the left hand side movement as we massage. So taking a breath in, and then as you breathe out through the nose, moving the hands around, focusing on the heel of the hand and just tracing a pathway down the left hand side with some gentle pressure. And then releasing the pressure slightly as you come around, breathing in and back to where you started. So breathing out and down, gentle pressure, encouraging movement through the descending colon. Relax the hands, relax the pressure, breathing in and coming back around to breathe out and down again. And just keep going with that for a few more breaths. There's no need to go really fast. Be very deliberate with your breath and with your movement. Bringing your mind to the descending bowel or colon on the left hand side. And thinking as you press and encourage that movement downwards, thinking of any waste material moving out through your bowel in that downwards motion. So remember that Qigong is a combination of your mind, your breath, and gentle movements. So this is exactly what we're doing here. So this is not just any old massage with the movement. It works so much more effectively if you use the breath and your mind at the same time. So be very clear in your intention about what you're doing here and where your focus is. But don't focus so hard that you give yourself a headache. The breath is in and out through the nose. And you may want to close your eyes for this. Thinking deep inside the body.
And you can repeat this circular movement for as many repetitions as you feel will give you relief if you are suffering from constipation, or just for a few, just to really get the idea that you've started to mobilize the chi and the blood in the intestines. And one more, keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed. And then just letting the hands drop down by your sides. Closing the eyes for a moment, bring your mind to that left-hand side, to the descending colon area. Thinking of space and ease of movement in that area. Also observing any other sensations that you might feel in your body or with your breathing. And moving on now to the next exercise, which is working with your breath. So we're going to work with the abdominal breath as you just practiced it to begin this Qigong session today, but we're going to exaggerate it. So as you breathe in through the nose, you're going to inflate the lower belly area as much as you can without feeling dizzy. And then as you breathe out, you're going to suck the lower belly in. So, it's, so you have this kind of pulsating movement of the belly going out and sucking in, out and in. And as you suck the belly in, think of drawing it back in toward, towards the spine, right in towards the spine. So I might just show you from the side so that you can see what I'm doing here. So turning sideways on, Hopefully you can see me. So as you breathe in, maybe watch my hand, you feel, you see my hand breathing in, the hand pushes out. Now breathing out, drawing the abdomen in back towards the spine. Breathing in, breathing out. So you get the idea. Now don't over exaggerate this to the point where you might get dizzy because if you take in too much air you will you will be hyperventilating and you may want to try this to begin with from a sitting down position just to give yourself a little bit more balance if you know that you are prone to a little bit of dizziness but this is a really great breathing exercise for massaging the whole of the abdominal area the lower abdominal area working on the intestines as well so you may want to place a hand here or you may want to just relax with the hands down by your sides and begin by closing the eyes and just breathing using your normal abdominal breath so not exaggerating the breath for now so just breathing in very gently feel the abdomen expand and breathing out feeling the abdomen shrink And now start to breathe in a little more, feel more expansion with the inhalation. And as you breathe out, think of drawing the lower abdomen back towards your spine a little more. And then breathing in, push the abdomen out. And then breathing out, drawing the abdomen back towards the spine. And have the sensation that the breath is moving in a wave. So not a abrupt stop and start as you breathe in and out, but think of everything flowing from the inhalation to the exhalation. And again with this, you can breathe as quickly or as slowly as is comfortable for you. The main thing is that you're comfortable and relaxed and that you're very deliberate in this movement of the lower abdomen. So don't breathe so fast that you don't feel 
that full range of movement of the abdomen, either breathing out or in. Keep everything smooth and flowing and controlled. Feeling as though you're massaging your abdominal organs, most specifically your intestines, as you perform this breathing exercise. And just continue with that for a few more breaths. Remembering to smile, keeping that softness in your face. And now just continuing three more breaths. And when you've done those, coming back to your normal abdominal breathing. So not exaggerated at all. And gently opening the eyes. So the third of the breathing exercises, which will help you to relieve any constipation and keep healthy bowel movements going, is involving a little bit of movement as well. So what I'd like you to do is just with the hands by your sides in your standing position, or you can actually be sitting for this if you prefer, is I'd like you to have the hands with the palms facing back. So the front of the hands facing towards the front, sorry, the backs of the hands are facing towards the front of your body and your palms are facing behind you. And then just make fists. So quite tense in the fists. And as you make the fists, I'd like you to breathe in through the nose, and then I'd like you to clench the buttocks and think of drawing up the anus. So tighten everything in that area, holding the breath. And now release everything, breathing out through the nose, releasing the hands, releasing the buttocks and the anus. So you're tightening everything as you breathe in and you're relaxing everything as you breathe out. So breathing in, tighten, Draw everything up. Hold for a couple of seconds and then breathe out through the nose. Relaxing everything. So this is massaging the very lower part of the large intestine and around the anal area. So this can get things moving in a really good way as well if you do a few of these first thing in the morning. So one more time, bring in. Breathing out, relaxing. And now maybe just close your eyes and focus on that area, the very lower part of your intestine. Breathing in. Breathing out. And two more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out and relax. And now just slowly opening the eyes. So those are three breathing and massage movements or exercises which you can do in order to help to relieve constipation and keep healthy digestion. So the first one was the circles around. The second one was the exaggerated abdominal breathing to massage the organs. And the third one was using the fists and drawing everything up in the anal area, tightening everything and then relaxing. 
So hopefully those gentle exercises will help to keep your bowels in a healthy way and relieve any constipation if you're suffering right now. So moving on to the second part of this class today. These exercises, and there are two of them, will show you some simple movements in order to relieve constipation and keep the chi and the blood flowing smoothly through your digestive system. So this first one is performed from your standing position, although you could do this from a sitting position as well if you feel like you can't stand for any length of time. Be very soft in the knees. Make sure that your pelvis is tucked under, your tailbone is tucked, is moving down, and you're drawing up very slightly in the lower abdomen area. So you feel a nice little extension in the lower back area. You don't feel as though the, the vertebrae of your lower back are all kind of squashed up. And just relaxing in the shoulders. And we're going to do a very simple twisting from side to side movement, but be very loose with this. So only go side to side for uh, to the extent that your body will allow without going into any particular pain. And we've done this exercise before in a previous slide class, and it's called knocking on the gates of life or knocking on heaven's door is another name that's given to it. So be very, we're very loose in the arms. So maybe just shaking out the arms first of all and just bouncing up and down on the knees as well. So just keeping the heels on the ground, just be very loose. Now, as we do this, we can continue bouncing like this, just turn to the side, one side and the other. And what you'll find is if your arms are nice and relaxed, you'll find that they start to bump and bash off the sides of your body and the back of your body. So. This twisting action is stimulating and creating the conditions by which the chi can flow through the organ systems which govern digestion in terms of Chinese medicine, namely the spleen, the stomach, the liver, the large and small intestine. So really helping the unobstructed flow of chi through the torso and the abdominal area so that all those digestive organs can easily communicate with each other and function in a balanced way. So just keep going with this. And for those of you who want to be a little bit more energetic, you might find that you want to maybe lift the arms and be a bit more vigorous in your exercise and allow the head to follow so turning in the head and neck as well and again with this exercise you can go as quickly or as slowly as you prefer so if you're very tired you might want to go slowly with this but if you feel like you need a little bit of invigoration and a little bit of energy then if you go a little bit faster with this you'll find that it really enlivens the whole of your body. And then just bring this exercise to an end by decreasing the amplitude of your movements, keeping the arms nice and relaxed, and then just allowing them to come back down by your sides. Closing the eyes, Coming back to your abdominal breath, breathing in, feel the belly expand. Breathing out, feel the belly shrinking. The breath, remember, is in and out through the nose. So if you feel a little bit out of breath and you feel like you need to breathe through the mouth, that's fine. But as soon as you feel you've got your breath back, then coming back to that in and out through the nose with your breathing. 
This next exercise is called raising up a single hand. And we've performed this before in some previous live classes. And I'll put the links to those when I, in the text next to the replay of this video when I send it out. But this is a simplified version of it. So we're just going to go through, again, really working with the sides of the body, not so much from a twisting point of view as we just did, but more from a stretching point of view. So what I'd like you to do is just have both hands resting on your thighs with the palms facing down. Making sure that you're nice and relaxed and you can be sitting or standing for this. I'm showing you from a sitting position just so that you can see my arm movements. So with one hand, first of all, just turn it so that the palm is facing upwards. And then just turn the hand out and extend it up towards the sky, only as far as your shoulder will allow. If you, if you have shoulder or neck issues, then only go as far as you can comfortably go with this without going into any pain. And then look up at the hand. So the palm is facing up towards the ceiling and you're pressing into the heel of the hand, feeling lovely extension all the way down the arm, but also into the whole of the side of the body here. So really helping to open up the channels or the channels which are associated with a lot of those organs to do with digestion. And then coming back down. And then to the other side, looking up. Feeling the stretch in the side of the body and coming back down, palm faces down as you lower it. Now with the breath. Breathing in, palm faces up, looking up at the hand, breathing out, turn the palm to face down, drawing the arm and the hand down. Both other side. And coming back down. And one more time to each side. Really feeling the extension in the sides of the body. Nice and tall. And relax, hands down by your sides or you can leave them resting on your knees, closing the eyes. And coming back to your abdominal breath, smiling. Keeping that lovely length in the back of the neck by tucking the chin back towards the throat. And to finish your practice today, placing one hand on the lower abdomen with the other hand directly on top. And then circling, firstly in one direction. Giving your belly a little rub and then changing the direction. Still with the eyes closed now, bring the hands together, rubbing them until they get really hot. And then placing one palm over each eye, fingers facing up towards the ceiling, feeling the heat from your hands, going into your eyes to nourish them. And then running through the back of the eyes to nourish the mind. Giving your face a little massage or a rub now in order to bring yourself back into the room. So as you do this, gently opening the eyes and bringing a smile to your face. So hopefully that Qigong routine has given you an idea of some of the exercises you can use to help relieve constipation. And even if you're not constipated, to keep your bowels and your digestive system functioning in a healthy way. So as always, if you have any questions, then you can contact me by email which is Janice at space to relax.com. Or you can leave a comment and a question in my Facebook group, which is space to relax free Qigong group. 
Also, these classes are free of charge, but if you really appreciate them and you would like to donate, then 50% of the proceeds go towards the staff in my local intensive care unit here in the hospital near to where I live. And the other 50% goes towards the, towards the upkeep of my website. And you can donate by checking the link, which will be in the text next to this video when I send out the replay. Also, please invite your fr friends and your family to join. Everyone is welcome. And as you can see, a lot of these exercises are absolutely suitable for beginners and they can be adapted to people with a range of different movements because most of them can be performed from a sitting or from a standing position. So I do hope you enjoyed the class today and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you enjoyed this Qigong lesson, then there are four things you can do right now. The first thing is to head over to my website, which is spacetorelax.com. And there you'll see that you can join up for a free three part video series. The second thing you can do is click the link next to this video to sign up for the live Qigong classes as I teach these once a week. The third thing you can do is go over to Facebook if you're on Facebook and look for Space to Relax free Qigong group. That's my free group where you can post any questions and please do join the group. And the fourth thing is if you're watching this video on YouTube, then please hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and look forward to seeing you in the next video.